Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Commonwealth, okay guys, I already did a video talking a little bit about it, we already did a video talking about the dev blog itself, uh, that confirmed the team, the, that the T90 uh, Bishma is actually coming to the game, but with that, it kind of opens up a little bit of a precedent and it opens up a little bit of a question. Will we see more vehicles in a general sense, aircraft and stuff, um, in the UK line specifically, and maybe the, the Italian one, as I already did a video talking about them, but uh, specifically the UK, which is more confirmed, um, Soviet vehicles to it. We will see that. So I wanted to talk a little bit about an example specifically to have a kind of a bigger picture on this idea, right? So... The MiG-29, for example, the Indians actually used the MiG-29 912B, at least most sources confirm that it's 912B. There are a few sources that claim that the 912B was actually denied by the Indians and uh, the Soviets actually exported the 912A or something similar to that uh, in the 80s, right? Um, but still, um, it was a very early MiG-29, it was a downgraded exported variant, Normally never using the R27T uh, Unless he gets an upgrade or something like that. He just wasn't capable of using it. That was the main downgrade um, Beyond the avionics and IFFs and stuff like that and Initially used the R60M and the R27R and later got even the R73 and even later in the 2000s plus you know generation of aircraft when the smt upgrade started to happen on the russian uh, mig 29s to bring the mig 20 the older mig 29 they were already produced up um, to like a four plus generation kind of situation with fox 3s and mfds and stuff um, the upg happened as well being an smt variant for the indian um, air force as well right so yeah just like the t90 which is one of the main battle tanks one of the main tanks that the Russians have, the Indians already um, have it as well, and also the UK line will receive it as well. So the question comes to mind, will we see a MiG-29, for example, as in this example, in the UK tech tree? So let's talk a little bit about that, you know. First things first, does the UK line needs a MiG-29? Well, technically does not. Um, you know, it, it's complicated. I'm very divided about this. The first thing that you have to worry about is that uh, although the tornado, um, the, the, you know, the, the tornado is there, the ADV, it is not as capable, or at least it's not meta enough to be a top tier aircraft. It is even an 11.3 BR right now, right? So it opens up a gap. So we already have a gap that needs filling there. But which is the aircraft that can be added uh, there to actually, you know, fill this gap. Well, there's basically nothing until the Eurofighter. We have the EAP, but that's a prototype, I don't know about that, I don't know if they want to add more prototypes or anything like that, so I will just ignore it a little bit, but the Eurofighter will be a jump from the performance that we have right now. And looking at the average way that they deal with this type of thing uh, for example uh, with the um, how they dealt with the uh, f-16 aj right i mean they could have just waited until we have something like the f-15 to be added to the game and not add the kind of paperish aircraft that is the f-16 aj right so that should be a thing but the idea of waiting for the F-15 didn't appeal for them a little bit so they just added the F-16 to bridge that gap so it creates two precedents here with that one of them is the T-90 is added so the Indian stuff or Commonwealth in general can be added to the UK tech tree the second thing I mean it's already kind of doing that with South Africa but still uh, it's it's being a little bit more broad. Of course, we already had a tank that is Indian, uh, the Bish... Uh, I don't remember the name, but uh, th that's uh, the Vickers or something like that, that it's from India, that it's premium, right? 
So that opens the first precedent. And the second one is a precedent of just not waiting and trying to get an aircraft or a vehicle delivered that is meta to a nation as quickly as possible, which they did with the F-16 AJ in, Jap in the Japanese tech tree. So these two precedents open up a gap that I think it has a possibility of being filled, for example, with this MiG-29. So they don't have uh, an aircraft that can fill this gap uh, for now. So instead of waiting until everybody has a four plus generation aircraft and then add the Eurofighter, why not add a squadron vehicle as a MiG-29? You know, it would be basically the same MiG-29 that we have in the other tech trees. They can even, if they want to, uh, be a little bit more, a little bit of a downgrade to it, uh, because as I said, they never used the ER version of the R-27 in these aircraft, the Indian one, and initially they even didn't use the R-73. So uh, they could add just the R-27R and just the R-60M to it, being a downgrade version of the MiG-29s that we already have in the German and Soviet tech tree, while helping the British tech tree to have a proper fourth generation aircraft that can deal with the targets that it's the, the tornado is trying to face. So this can be a possibility. Is it the right one? I don't know. I feel divided. Like I said at the start of the video, I mean, I, I feel like, yes, um, poor guys that are only grinding the UK tech tree, right? I mean, it's the same as with the Challengers, right? The Challengers are amazing tanks, but they have a very specific way of playing and it might not be the most meta thing ever uh, in a normal gameplay. So the T-90 Bisma, Bishma, or whatever it's called, might help with that. And yeah, w with that in mind, it's, yeah, like, great. We have a tech tree that can be a little bit more competitive and it's a squadron vehicle so it's not even a tech tree it's a vehicle that you will see less and people will want to get it but it's going to be not as easy to get as a tech tree vehicle or not as quickly as it, at least at the same time the mig-29 would have the same purpose but do we want every nation to get everything you know or is it only in very specific places? I mean, if it's going to be in only very, very specific places, yeah, I think it's a good idea maybe to add this type of thing. But it creates another problem because, as I said, the more we go with these additions, the more creates, the more creates precedent uh, to actually adding more stuff later. So what is actually, you know... Uh, um, blocking the UK tech tree from getting out of fall in the future. Uh, MiG-29K. You know, it, it, you know, so it needs to be well thought and it needs to be in only the marginal ways that I think um, it would be realistically um, enough, uh, realistic enough. Because for example, if the autofighter is added, our foul shouldn't be necessary in the OK tech tree, even though it's an in, uh, uh, the Indians use these aircraft or the MiG 29K because he has the autofighter. But in this smaller instance of not receiving the autofighter and only having the Tornado ADV, yeah, maybe that's an addition that can be added, you know? So it needs to be well thought, as, as I was saying, and really, really like very specific places and not have a general tech tree that will have multiple countries they use multiple types of vehicles um, because i think it just it's kind of weird because why would you actually research france for example if a rafale is added in an indian as an indian air force or indian navy kind of situation to the um to the uh to the to the uk tech tree or the mig-29 smt for example why would you get the SMT on the Soviet tech tree if you can get it together with an Eurofighter, for example, in the UK tech tree. It's just the best of both worlds, right? Why would you get in another tech tree? So I just, it, it takes off the uniqueness of the tech trees. And this is, I think, the main problem with this. So yes, I agree that countries need these little things to actually help, but it needs to be well thought. The MiG-29 912B with just R60Ms and R27Rs, it could be a very interesting addition, for example. But adding every single Indian aircraft, no, I don't think it's a good idea. 
Same goes for tanks, same goes for other countries, same goes for every type of vehicle in the game. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Do you agree or disagree that the UK should be getting more stuff? You know, all of the Indian air aircraft and tanks or just a few? What do you think? Let me know in the comments and I see you guys on the next one. So, bye guys. Subscribe. Bye.